Have you ever been at the grocery store and wondered what is in someone's shopping bag? Well, I am going to take all the guesswork away and show you what I bought today at the grocery store. Okay, so I went to my favorite healthy food market. Um, I unloaded my groceries and I'm going to show you what they are. I'm not going to go through about what they use for and all that stuff because then the video will be too long. So let me show you what I got at the grocery store today. If you have any questions, well, pop on in, hit them in the chat box below and I'll answer them when I can. All right, so you guys know, this is my jam right here, unsweetened almond milk, some organic eggs because we go through a lot of these, avocados because they have so many good vitamins in them and these particularly are the Haas avocados. So if there's any of these ingredients that or um, supplies that you want to hear more information about, just give me a comment and let me know and then I can do an exclusive video just in that thing. Grapefruits, which are great for vitamin C. And you know, I have another video on vitamin C, so you should just look through the archives and see what it's about, about other um, foods that you can get. Surpri you can get surprisingly high amounts of vitamin C. It's not just in citrus, actually. So I have some wild honey. This is the best honey to get. Not the particular one that I have, but make sure when you get honey that you get it wild, okay? Wild honey, so that means that honey that is made in your state or area that you live in. I have an English cucumber, which are so good on salads, eaten raw and everything. These English cucumbers don't have any seeds, so it's actually easy to eat and snack on, so that's why I love these. Uh, you guys know how I love ginger, anti-inflammatory hair. I use them in my smoothies and my juices, stir fries, so I have some fresh ginger. It's better than the powdered stuff, even though I do have powdered ginger at home, but get the fresh one if you can. Very easy to prepare. Maple syrup, because on the weekends we make, oh, I make actually, a mean gluten-free waffle. So maple syrup it is. So if you're looking to eat more of a whole diet, maple syrup is your friend. No high fructose corn syrup or sugar, just the natural stuff from the tree. I have these, um, Cute mini potatoes because, yeah, they're so cute and they really do well in potato salad and they cook up quickly. So have some potatoes here, uh, blueberries, which are great for antioxidants and fiber and vitamin C. So much good in this small container. So definitely you going shopping this weekend or after work or whatever, make sure you pick up some blueberries, okay? Guys, you know how I love me, so I love some uh, almond flour. Oh, the sun is shifting again. Okay, almond flour. So this is fine milled almond flour. And I also have these wraps, which we use all the time. Also made from almond flour. No traditional flour in that. Have some sweet potatoes because we, I bake them and cook them and prepare them with everything. Um, so they're really good for carotene and so many other great vitamins. Just pop them in the oven, pierce a couple holes in them, and in an hour they're done. Quick cooking, quick meals. Uh, kiwis, don't be scared of these. Actually, they're packed with vitamin C, and they have that little fuzz on it. But it's actually edible. Did you know that the skin on a kiwi is actually edible? Yes filled with fiber so don't toss it out eat it up i found some baby broccoli in the store so as much as we love bro broccoli baby baby broccoli the difference is the stalk is more thin so it's not as thick and it's kind of more tender and easier to cook so maybe if you don't like broccoli or you want to try something different you can look for some baby broccoli Oh, because I just needed a treat, some sweet potato fries. These cook up well in the oven. And Gravlox, because I always need a nice, tasty breakfast. Sometimes I call it my mama breakfast, which is um, gluten-free bagel, Gravlox, eggs, and what else do I put on there? Maybe some tomatoes. But that is it for my grocery store, my grocery store haul. So if you have any questions, pop them below. Make sure you subscribe for updates i'm going to drop the link down below make sure you're following on instagram if you're not already you can find me at the domestic lifestylist on instagram 
and um, I will drop any pertinent links that you may need to get more information down below. This is Lisa from The Domestic Lifestylist. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And the next time you're at the grocery store wondering what somebody, what's in somebody's cart, maybe you should just ask them. But in the meantime, I'm showing you what was in my cart. Anyway, guys, talk to you soon and look forward to the next video with you.